All right, dude, today I'm going to be teaching you how to identify a scammer. And also, before we go into it, I just want to say if somebody tells you that you are a scammer, they are probably misinformed. If you are just flipping on a trade chat, people are telling you that you are a scammer. Most likely, they are trying to gaslight you into putting your prices lower, or they might just be uninformed themselves. So a scammer is a person who commits fraud or participates in a dishonest scheme. All right, I'm reading this out of the dictionary real quick. A scammer scam is a dishonest scheme a fraud dishonest behaving or prone to behave in an untrustworthy or fraudulent way scheme a large-scale schematic plan or arrangement for attaining a particular object or putting a particular in idea into effect fraud wrongful or criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain deception the act of causing someone to accept as true or valid what is false or invalid the act of deceiving resorting to falsehood and deception use use deception to leak the classified information huh? the factor the factor condition of being deceived deception oh wait those are examples sorry my bad, my bad. I, I don't know why i copied the examples moving on in warframe how can you know if somebody is a scammer or not we need to really like identify what a scam actually is in warframe if somebody has an offer right for example let's say you go to starbucks and you buy a coffee and it costs ten dollars you end up finding out later on that you can make the same coffee at home for a quarter of the price is that a scam technically no that's not a scam there's a lot of convenience for not having to go through the process of making your own coffee it can be nice for some people who want to go there sure it's overpriced but it's not technically a scam now what is a scam when somebody calls you they make some kind of lie up to try to trick you into taking away something from you that they do not deserve in warframe if people try to trick you this is how it is right there's a couple different ways one is to tell you that they want to buy something or sell something to you at a certain price and then when you do the trade they don't put that price in or they change it at the last second or they do something like that that's a scam another thing that is a scam is if somebody tries to say that you know i'm gonna sell you this or whatever for example they were gonna buy three warframes from you or something and they put all the plat in the first trade and you only put the first warframe in and then you like close out of the game after you do the trade that is a scam if that happens to you you can report them right and then they can get banned so yeah those, those people are scammers don't trust people when you're doing trades if you're doing a multi-trade trade put the value that is per trade you know do the math on a on a calculator or something it takes a second to quickly do the math pull up google or your phone or whatever you have <laughs> the thing is is that you got to be careful there are a lot of scammers out there you need to just be aware if you're able to price check everything on warframe market before you go and do the trade on trade chat you will be more aware and you will not get scammed but at the same time don't feel scammed if you find out that you overpaid by like a hundred plat or you undersold by like a hundred plat because everything has a wide margin but that margin it doesn't come from nowhere it comes from time you don't just get the plat from nothing you have to input a lot of time in order to make those margins happen and that's what a lot of people do not understand flipping stuff is not as easy as you think it is you gotta buy it and then you gotta wait for the market to change or you gotta post for like hours and hours and get lucky on one person who happens to be impatient and doesn't want to use warframe market it's rng when you're flipping another thing that's a scam is like saying that you're gonna sell or buy or somebody tells you they're gonna sell or buy something you go and do the trade and they put in something that's not the thing right they put in something that is a different kind of item maybe they like put in like something that has a similar name like they put a gara set instead of a garuda set and you didn't notice you always want to read the number when you're doing a trade and, and the thing that they're putting in there's also a little checkbox if they're if you're buying or selling a full set to let the other person know if it's a full set so make sure you look at that when you're trading and you'll be able to prevent yourself from being scammed a lot a lot more here's a hot topic right okay a lot of debate going around about this uh is selling the ignis wraith blueprint a scam and also is giving the ignis wraith blueprint away for free a self scam you could say yes or no the problem with the word scam is that the community doesn't use it properly <laughs> they call a lot of things scams that are really just marketing strategies that are pretty scummy or whatever or they're pretty wide range kind of like buying coca-cola 
in bulk for like eight cents per can and then selling them for for a dollar a can or two dollars a can or something it, it's the kind of shit that it makes people be like this is a scam but in reality it's just it's smart business smart marketing you, you can do it yourself and it's not a scam the thing is is that it takes time and effort to to figure out what's worth buying what's worth investing in how to get it for cheap where to sell it for more and then you got to also wait for those sellers or those buyers to come who want to who are willing to pay extra so yeah make sure you don't get scammed by people who are trying to put in something else or and also don't, don't be scammed by people telling you everyone is selling it on warfare market for a certain price because just be, because they're ignorant they don't they're in, they're on, on they're unaware they don't know that people are willing to spend more in trade chat because it's more convenient than warfare market so there's a large group of people and i've asked a ton of people who have who bought off me on trade chat i've asked so many people why and a lot of them say that they don't want to use warfare market and they don't care about spending extra and they're fine with spending 200 extra 100 extra they're, they, they say more they say like more power to me and stuff like that like i i always get like like oddly positive feedback when i when i'm like telling them you know i i sold it to you for like 100 extra and then they're like well that's fine i don't want to use the website anyways it's more convenient and i'm just like oh all right so you do some experimentation you know do some trading but be aware of people who are trying to trick you because that's what a scam is it's dishonest it's tricking somebody deceiving somebody don't deceive people you just you know you don't have to deceive people in order to sell an ignis wraith blueprint for 50 plot but at the same time there are sources that are cheaper information is valuable uh, you should spread your information if you want to see the community become a better place and a more competitive market yeah i hope this information is useful you guys and and probably be trying to get another video for later today so look out for that one subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like if you enjoyed yeah thanks for watching peace